Right, this is just a very quick video to show the correct setup of the Blade 300X helicopter. This is as it came out of the box. I haven't touched any of the AR7200BX settings. I've only set up my DXA as per the manual and I've made some tweaks to the throttle curve but nothing that makes any difference to this. So I've got the throttle curve, a throttle hold on. If I plug it in, the lights on the AR7200BX are flicking now but you won't see them. And the swash will pop up and down when it finishes initialising. There you go, and that means it's ready, okay? So now I've got sort of hold on, but basically at mid stick for pitch, that's forward elevator, backward elevator, that's right side click and left side click. So the swash tilts the direction you would expect. Obviously, pitch up, the swash drops, pitch down, the swash goes up. Now the important thing for the gyro is that when you tilt the helicopter, the swash stays flat. So if I tilt forward, you can see it pushes back. Yeah, and if I tilt to me, you can see the, that side is pushing up. The easiest way to tell this, let's pick it up, maybe it's easier, is to look at the servo, and when you move it, you'll see the servo twitch. Now when I, move, when I tilt this towards me, that servo is pushing up, which means it's holding the swash flat, which is correct. If I tilt the helicopter forward, then again, that front servo is pushing up, which is holding the swash flat. So again, so that's, you can see it moving the right way. And if I tilt sideways, you can see the swash. Not to confuse, when you move it, it'll twitch and it'll then drift back to level. So ignore that second movement. It's the first response that matters and it's super critical. If you're not sure, then don't try and fly.